up, folks? It is your cat daddy here, Jackson from the Cat Cave. Today we are talking about the cat carrier. I think that everybody just sort of assumes that cats hate the carrier. Wrong! <laughs> your cat does not have to hate the carrier, at least not as much. Now, let's talk about this sort of scenario. You have two pretty much identical station wagons, except one is red and one is green. And for the most part, your family used the red station wagon. Except when it was time for you to go to the dentist. When you were going to the dentist, it was the green station wagon. Flash forward to your therapy 20 years later where you have this irrational fear of green station wagons. Your cats hate the carrier because every time they get into the carrier, they're going to a place where they don't want to go. Really what we're going to do here is just change that up completely. It's about creating a positive association. Now we've talked a lot about base camp. The cats should always have that room that's a base camp. Well, there can also be portable base camps. So the first thing that you want to do is make it an appealing place. And the best way to do that is make it not look like a carrier. Almost all carriers come apart and you can take the top off of the, the carrier. You can put something really attractive to them, whether it's one of their little donut beds that they love and they're already on that thing all the time, or maybe it's one of your sweatshirts. It smells like you and they get great comfort from being around your scent. Whatever it is, they've already used it as a scent soaker. You use that to line the carrier with. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to put it into a social area that the cat already enjoys. So maybe you wanna set it up near the couch or near your bed. Before you put the lid back on the carrier, keep making it a positive place. Let's take the treat that is always a winner in your house. I call it the jackpot treat. The only time they get it is when they're sitting in their den. But make it a daily occurrence. Once you've established this as just a ritualistic thing, now we're gonna add the top back onto the thing. Of course, not in their presence. They get their treats in there and it is still their bed. Now it's just a bed with a top on it. And eventually, I say eventually, but eventually it could be a couple of hours. Some cats take to those challenges a lot slower. On, Just Lizzie. make sure you're always pushing their challenge line, one Boy. paw over the line. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, obviously, is add the door back on. Now, this is the step that tends to be a little problematic because it's the sound of the door that tends to be a real trigger for cats. But you can even take some tape and tape it open so that, that door doesn't swing back and forth. I've had cats before that we've had to actually close the door, you get your treat, now the next step is pick up the carrier, put it back down again, open the door, done. What we're trying to get to here is the fact that every time your cat goes into the carrier, it's not the dreaded green station wagon. 99 times they're going into that carrier, 99 times the door is closing, but only one time out of 100 are they actually gonna to go to the vet? Once your cat establishes that carrier as a safe place to go, if something happens, like an earthquake, chances are they're gonna run right in there. Same as we have rules about litter boxes, folks, we got rules about carriers too. Three cats, three carriers. I really want this carrier to be a safe place for your cat and a place that they look forward to going to so that you can get them to the vet safely, you can travel safely with them. The carrier does not have to be your cat's worst nightmare. It can be their best cocoony friend. All right, until the next time we talk, folks, all light, all love, all mojo to you. Take care. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.